you know what's even better than dealing with somebody potentially stealing money from my bank account? It's Cuso Grande! In fact, we are doing the Eurovision round. Crappy, why don't you take us over to the game reveal? Come on. Oh, there's the lawnmower man. Oh, he's got teeth. Well, for Eurovision, every game given out in this round is a game from Europe. It's very simple and easy and understandable. And the person giving out the first game of the day is our dear friend, Listar. Listar, get out of the trash and get into the Kuso. Hello there. Oh. Oh my gosh, how you doing, Liz? Oh, it's been a while. It has, yeah. I'm really glad you're here. Yeah, I, I kept trying to, uh, to to give out games during the um, during the Iron Gem, but it always turns out exactly one person wanted me to give them some jank. So uh, I haven't been around in a bit. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I, I feel that. And like the same thing happened with NPC. A lot of people chose NPC, but unfortunately it was it just wasn't meant to be. Yeah. Uh, but that's OK. You're you're here. I'm glad that like you're excited to give stuff I out. I have missed you and I'm super glad you're here. Aww. You too. Aww. I'm always excited to give out stuff. I. I when I when I was like, oh, I have to do Euro stuff. I don't know if I have any Euro stuff. And I looked in my bag and I was like, oh, I do. I uh, have a lot. You, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, Liz, it's surprising how many European games there are that we don't even know are European. Uh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Uh, and honestly, uh, there are some really fantastic games from Europe. There are a lot of really bad games, and there are a lot of very passionate games that make me feel all of the emotions that I want to feel. Uh, and is this one one of those that has all the emotions that I want? What are you gonna do? Um. Well, so they they vetoed a lot of my games, and so I, I pulled out one of the biggest guns I know. This is a game that, as I described it, has zero redeeming qualities, other than the fact that it's really charmingly bad. And uh, that game is. Bram Stoker's Dracula for the Sega CD. Now, I've played other versions of Bram Stoker's Dracula. I'm not sure if this is similar to any of those, but I actually very much, like, I think they're bad, but kind of silly. Uh, is, they, is this at all are. like the Sega or NES or Genesis versions? Completely, completely different. Uh. It's a completely unique version. Oh, um, that gets me really excited. I love it. Uh, as a as a teaser, uh, when I played this game on my stream, someone in my chat described it as FMV Splatterhouse, but terrible. <laughs> so uh... FMV Splatterhouse, but terrible. Oh no! I do know that the players asked a little bit about like, uh... oh my gosh, come on, brain, you can do this. Uh, about the cutscenes in the game because apparently there are a lot of cutscenes. Yeah. Uh, are they able to skip cutscenes or are we going to see all of the them, wonderful acting? I told them we can see uh, the, the, them for the first time. The thing with the cutscene, they're all just like... I, we, we might tell them to skip them. This is actually, I think, something that you should decide because they are all scenes from the movie, actually. Uh, yeah, go ahead and skip them. Like I will tell them to skip them. I think that's probably wise uh, to skip as much as possible because, yeah, I... Yeah. Here's the deal. The, the hacker tried actually successfully took my channel for a little while. I don't need Brom Stoker to take it as well. <laughs> Uh, yeah, unfortunately, I'm still living a little bit in that uh, fun zone of dealing with the after effects, but luckily there hasn't been too much. It's just uh, we'll see if I'm able to recover a little money that may have been taken out of some of my yeah. accounts. So, oh, my gosh, my goodness, it is something special. Well, Give me a second or two more and I'll get everything ready because we Perfect. are almost good to go. Very, very close. There, There's only one cutscene that I really think is worth seeing in this game and that's uh, the FMV that plays when you die. And I don't think that's skippable. So Well, that's fine then. 
It's not even really from the movie, but it's very much worth watching. Perfect. Okay, uh, I just need to change the player's icons to match our players for today, and then we are good to go. So, Liz, have you been playing anything fun lately? I have been playing through the entirety of the Zork series. Oh my gosh, uh, I want to do that. Did you start with, like, the text adventures then? Oh, I beat Zork 1, 2, and 3. I want to do that. My father always talked about, like... He, he always talked to me about playing the original Zorks, and uh, I played a little bit of one of the later sort of mist-like versions of Zork yeah. when I was young, and that was a lot of fun. I don't know if it stands up, but I, I enjoyed I it when I was young. I started on those, and I've played them many times in my life. All of them are still worth playing. Uh, Return to Zork is my favorite. I love Return to Zork. I think that's uh, the one that I played the most, yeah. Yeah. But they're all worth playing, uh, including the text adventure. I've been having a good time. Although Zork Zero soft locked me. Found out I soft locked myself 30 minutes in uh, when I was right at the end. <laughs> oh no. That's fun. <laughs> oh no. Why do games oh, do that? Oh, because they're extend. old games. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that sounds about right. Okay, well, I am ready to roll. It looks like the players have their screens up. I hate how the word Dracula is, like, misaligned because of how long the D is. So Every, it's just, Everything's like, just shifted a little bit too far to the right. It bothers, bothers me. It bothers me a lot. Yeah. Graphic design was someone's passion. Probably whoever drew uh, the name Dracula here. Everybody else just had to deal with it. They're like, uh, uh, it looks bad if we don't have it centered around Dracula, but it looks bad if we do have it centered around Dracula, you know, and they <laughs> want it to be as big as possible, so we just have to deal with it. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. Dracula. It's like Frankenstein. <laughs> Dr. Acula. Do not go to Dr. Acula. Everybody, we are doing the countdown, so we need you to spam some emotes. What would be good emotes to spam? Vampires. Uh, Bill and Ted. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm a little bit concerned about that. Bill and Ted. I'm very much concerned about that. As soon as I see movement, I will start our timer, by the way. Oh, I don't like this already. What is... Ugh. <laughs> okay, we do have to sit here for a little bit. Guy reads a book. But... Literature, am I right? <laughs> All right, so that's supposed to be, uh, oh, what's his name? Who played Ted? Uh, oh yeah, what's his name? The guy who played Ted. Keanu Reeves, that's supposed to be Keanu Reeves. Oh, who played Bill then? Oh, I don't remember his name. Yeah, I was like, I was like, everybody knows Keanu Reeves. I was going to say Keanu Reeves, but I was like, no, maybe you're talking about the other dude. Yeah, Keanu Reeves in the movie plays Renfield. Okay. Uh, oh, and, I don't uh, like sure this. Actually, I don't know. Who is that? It's been so long since I've read Dracula. Uh, jo this is Jonathan Harker. Never mind. Not, not Renfield. I'm going to do a little bit of a recapture so that we can get things looking a little bit like f more full screen instead of having a lot of... I'm, I'm glad you didn't say looking better because I'm not sure if that's possible. <laughs> oh, no, it's not. This is so beautiful already. This is glorious. Look at... Like, I'm actually... Okay, I'm not really that impressed with 3D graphics. Come on. <laughs> It's like Mortal Kombat, but if you sucked all the color out of it. And put bats and in it. Put bats in it. These bats are the 
honest. <laughs> How they seem fine. You can punch a bat. That's that's how life works. Punch a bat. <laughs> yes, so here we are. The players are Harker going over. You can see the health bar at the top left as well as the number of lives. You can sort of tell that it says lives, but it's it's complicated. Oh, man, will it, will it nope, no he won't. <laughs> Say what now? Yeah, the the uh the um did it crash for Lady Rex? You just fall. Oh no, did it crash? No! Okay, so we're playing on 2.0, which is supposed to fix all the crashes. I had no crashes when I played this game and I played it quite thoroughly. Um, so that's unfortunate. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna, we're, has yeah, a lot of crap. We're gonna go ahead and keep going, and hopefully, this isn't an ongoing issue. Uh, yeah, yeah. Guess what? Intro screens. We're gonna have part of this cut off because I don't care. I want to see, like, as soon as we hop into the game, like the game is so small compared to everything else, and a lot of the times they, there's a lot of unskippable stuff at the start. Yeah, Ew, just like blood. That. Yeah, that. <laughs> yeah, uh, mind you, we have had times. Uh, guess what? This is Cusa Grande, and occasionally games don't work too well. Usually. I mean, usually. Beware. Well, you, I'll you be, bit, I'll you, beware. Uh, beware, you're in for a scare. We got to stage two. The year of our Lord. The search <laughs> for Dr. Acula. Cygnosis did make this game. Um, they, if they've made a lot of stuff, uh, they published uh, Lemmings. Um, Shadow of the Beast. Okay. Uh, I like Pugsy. Lemmings. Pugsy is a game that uh, is enjoyable in some ways. Uh, I like Wiz and Liz. That's a game they, they publish. Um, what? Have you never heard of Wiz and Liz? A Wiz and Liz? Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No. Like me, like me and my boyfriend. <laughs> it's cute. Yeah. You think it's in game what? This or or Wiz and Liz? I nice, think I'd nice rather jump. play Wiz and Liz personally, but like that's just because it sounds like it's not a very slow moving Dracula game. <laughs> no, it's like a high action arcadey kind of kind of deal. How perfect. You I'm... don't even fight any bats. You don't fight any bats? Come on. What kind of game is this? Ow. Okay, Lady Rex dying to a guy who throws whatever he was throwing. I don't even know. She's getting through this section way better than she did last time. We should give her like an extra three minutes because that's how long it took, basically. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and keep that in consideration and uh, give bonus time at the end if, if needed. Uh, and Hopefully not. Of, of course, if we have like 50 more crashes for no good reason, then that's that that we might end up in the tube and bin. But we've had one crash. That's not unusual for Cusa Grande. When uh when I play Sega game Sega CD games, I have a spreadsheet that I put all my thoughts into. Yeah. And um, I have a additional column in it that is not in any of my other console spreadsheets and that is did it crash uh okay a lot of them have yes there are a lot of really unstable spaces. i love that lady rex is across the bridge and i believe that's a little more progress uh honestly this early on in the match uh it's mostly about learning how to play the game and how to 
survive, so it's not necessarily a negative thing to go back to the beginning, especially if there are limited continues. But I don't know if there are. There are. There are, uh... Um... There are, uh, two? Two continues. Okay. Before you have... Also, what's up with this lightning? It, it, it has a huge radius. Uh, yeah. This is stupid. Yep. <laughs> it sure is. You can kind of jump and dodge it, I think, but... The thing is, Lady Rex got, like, got here with... I think like four or five lives. She did extremely well. Yeah, I think she died game. twice to the lightning. That is beautiful. Ooh. Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm taking a look, by the way, uh, because one of the main people who worked on this, uh, the... Wait. No, the, the music specifically. I was looking at the music here. If you love this music, you might love... Other soundtracks like Wipeout 64 for Nintendo 64, they did the sound effects for that. Uh, they did uh, music and sound effects for Lemmings Paintball. That's uh, a thing? I think I vaguely remember that being a thing. Oh no. Uh, Last Action Hero for Amiga, they did that. Oh, uh, Lemmings 2, that. The Tribes for Super Nintendo. Uh, Last Ninja 2, Back with the Vengeance for Amiga. Bill's Tomato Game for Amiga. Yo, you Bill's know. Tomato Game slaps, actually. <laughs> and also the music for Wiz and Liz. Uh, oh, that music is actually extremely good. Yeah. Honestly, there are a lot of bad games out there that, uh, you know, great people worked on. And... Most of the time, I'd say that, like, a movie that is based off of... No, a video game that is based off of a movie is usually going to have some sort of crunch and probably be put out before it should be just because of a strict deadline that really... Uh, deadlines can be beneficial in some ways, but also it's like, it has to be done. It just has to be done, so this is what you get. The music here, you know... Possibly not the best music in the world, but it's music. Yeah, for for all the stuff that this person made, this is one of the weaker soundtracks I've heard. Yeah, I think so. Unmemorable. It's not bad. A little more unmemorable. Um, this came out in 94, and the movie came out in 92. Well, luckily, the producer for this also was the executive producer for Johnny Mnemonic. I love the turning of <laughs> And also Mickey Mania. So good. Yo, Mickey Mania is good. Yeah. And also Cliffhanger for Game Gear. Oh, plus good. <laughs> and Game Boy and NES and Super Nintendo and Genesis and Sega CD. Uh and also Last Action Hero for Genesis and Super Nintendo and NES oh no, and, for Genesis? and Game Gear Hook. Yes. That game is so bad. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot here. I, I gave it a 2 out of 10. I gave this game a 1 out of 10, by the way. This is one of my rare 1 out of 10. Yeah, what makes a game a 1 out of 10 for you? Like, why is this so far down? Uh, it, it, it just has no redeeming qualities except for maybe the fact that it's, like, charmingly bad. Okay. Is usually... Like, my 1 out of 10s are, like... Fantasia for Genesis. Oh, that one's, like, aggressively bad. I love Fantasia exactly. for Genesis, but I don't like playing it. I like watching people suffer. Like Exactly. Like, a 1 out of 10 is something that's aggressively bad. Like, like this, or, like, Fantasia, or, um, my most recent 1 out of 10 was, uh, on the N64, um... Oh, yeah? Uh, Sub-Zero Mythologies. <laughs> I hated that game. <laughs> I hated oh my that gosh. Game. Yeah. At the same time, I sort of love that it exists. It's not like if you're playing a game to have a good game experience, that is not one. But if you're playing a game to have an utterly BS experience, you've got it. You've got it. It's so dumb. It's so <laughs> aggressively you evil. Like falling in pits. There's a uh, there's a, a, a popular clip on my channel of me playing 
that game where someone's like, Liz, are you going to speedrun this game? And I said the words, if you lock me in a room and told me I can't leave till I speedrun that game, I just bite myself until I die. <laughs> that is so sad. <laughs> I, I actually think that a game like that might be fun to speedrun. Uh, just you have fun with that. <laughs> <laughs> like, just because it's so... When a game is so bad that it just absolutely destroys you, a lot of the times there are glitches that make it absolutely broken and kind of comedic to play. Like, uh, the finding the game within the game at that point, I think, is something that's enjoyable. But, yeah, uh, I'm not completely sure if there is a whole lot of useful tech in it, but if so... I imagine it could be a fun speed run, but if it's just playing the game without glitches, no, please don't make me do that. Give me the glitches. Uh, with that said, this game is like a, not even walkathon. It's like a creepathon where you're just cre yeah. creeping along. Yeah. Oh, Yuge is up yeah. to the wizard. Oh, yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's, that's Dracula. That's what Dracula looks like. That's Dracula? At least you can kick his crotch. Like, he looks as laughable as he does in the movie, so it's okay. Um, beautiful. I was actually a little worried people would not get to Dracula, so that's good. That means I don't have to try and determine who got the furthest through this maze. It's not really a maze, it's like, I can't tell the difference between. Yeah, let me see if I can find a picture of... Oh, my gosh. Okay, I have found a picture of Dracula in the movie uh, so that I can share it with you, everybody. Because Dracula was played by Gary Oldman. Yep. Yeah. I can't Old recall man. anything else he's done except that I know that name a lot. Here he is. Here's your Dracula, oh everybody. It's really funny that that's the... But no, no. No, that's a different person. Oh, this guy. Yeah, this guy was in like a million things. Oh, yeah. Wasn't he in, uh, Batman? Oh, he's serious. Dracula's black. not in Batman. What do you th yeah, They're not yeah, the he's same James, thing. He's James Gordon. Hey, yeah, he's Commissioner Gordon. I thought so. But I, like, as soon as I looked at him, I'm like, that's Commissioner Gordon. Who's Commissioner Which is really Gordon? Impressive. Uh, he's like the the police officer who uh, teams up with Batman. He was are in you, the are you talking about? Oh, oh, he's the guy who looks like like Light Yagami's father in Death Row. <laughs> no, seriously, okay. Like, look at him, everybody. Okay, let me share this picture with you so that you can see what he looks like. Okay. Tell me this is not like Yagami's father. It's really uncomfortable to me how attractive I find that picture of that man. It's really not good. Like, I shouldn't be attracted to Commissioner Gordon. I like the, I like the, the I'm definitely not gay mustache, though. I'm definitely not gay mustache. Okay, now let me go ahead and get Light Yagami's father. Okay, there. They're the same person. <laughs> they are literally the same person. Except for the fact that one person is Japanese and the other is American, yeah. Uh, same, same. Yeah. Exactly. Anyways, <laughs> Lady Rex is trying to get past English. <laughs> 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 Oops. <laughs> Nobody. I've never seen Death Note. I I know the general conceit of Death Note. That's I read Death it. Note. The manga was really good. I'd say that Death Note is about the first half of Death Note is amazing. The second half of Death Note is kind of dumb, and it's like just end, please, just end. Uh, the Netflix original live action movie Death Note is the most amazing abomination I have ever seen uh, when it comes to adapting a manga. It's 
It's bad. It's aggressively bad. Like, it's offensively bad. If you've read Death Note or if you watch the anime, it's so... The movie is so bad. And I love it because of that. Like, I need to go and rewatch it because it's like... It's so comedic. People are asking if it's worse than Netflix's Cowboy Beep Bop. Uh, yeah, I haven't I seen it, and I can pretty much say it is. Good things about uh, Netflix Cowboy Beep Bop. Ew, it's Drac, Drac you hand. I don't want Drac you hand. Lady Rex apparently is unable to skip this. I did not know that. Uh, Lady Wait, Rex said, "Never mind." Lady... Oh, okay. I was about to say. Okay. Did Lady Rex, Dracula, and oh. Yuge has crashed. Oh no! No! Okay. Well, both of the players have one crash under the belt. Okay, okay, well, let's go ahead and keep going for now. I would say that for now, a single crash by both players sort of evens it out a little bit. Uh, not only that, but because there are limited continues, uh, I don't think that a crash is necessarily the worst thing in the world, because they are learning how to play the game. They're learning yeah. how to avoid taking damage, and that is something that can be helpful. But if it's in the second half of the match, that's when crashes will really, really hurt. Well, we've had two crashes in 18 minutes, which is a bad sign. Uh, I'm a little worried. But I hope it'll be okay. God, these, these acid-spitting, like, skeleton zombies are the worst. Yeah, bleh, bleh, bleh. Okay, only one more life, Rex. No, I... Nope. Oh, the, the... I love it. It's good. It's so good. Yeah, chat has a very good uh, point, though. If you uh, crash, you can't get hurt. It's really true. <laughs> Ooh, I do not like that, like, one second loop of music. That was weird. Okay, this game has problems. Let me, it does. Let me go ahead and tell you, this game has hashtag problems. Uh, first off, uh, it has a terrible uh, FMV version of Gary Oldman. That's probably the most offensive part. Uh... Keanu doesn't look like Keanu except in the FMVs. Uh, I, I I love games where you it's like a character. It's based on a movie and it looks absolutely nothing like like that person. Yeah. Like, um, have you ever played Last Action Hero for Genesis? <laughs> I have played a few Last Action Hero games. I don't know if I played the Genesis one, but I certainly. Uh, <laughs> Maybe the, I have. The Genesis one, it's it's Arnold, right? Arnold plays the character in Last Action Hero. Yeah. Uh, it looks like Mike Staclaza from Red Letter Media. Like, the least Arnold person you could possibly think of. Okay, let me, let me see if I can... F oh my gosh. You're right. <laughs> I think I know this version. Okay, 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 okay. Let me see. Let me see if I can get a good... That's a giant picture. That might do. Uh, oh my gosh! Thank you for all the stock image water marks over this. Everybody, as it turns out, this is a stock image. But there we go. Yeah, that doesn't look. He looks kind of thick. <laughs> he does. Like the only thing that looks like Arnold is the leather jacket, and when a jacket looks more like Arnold than the character, that's a problem. It just, it straight up looks like Mike Staclaza. Like, it, the, am I the only one who sees this? Uh, probably not. 
but I haven't really seen too much red letter media. <laughs> okay. Lady Rex is uh, getting better at, at handling the zombies. Good. Good. Lady Rex also was freaking out in chat about if this is a 3D maze in a 2D game. Um, kind of. Perfect. Oh my gosh, but, you know how much I love mazes. But it's, it's, you have multiple paths, but I'm pretty sure they all lead to the same place. So it's, it, it kind of gives off that vibe. It gives off a lot of that anxiety. Also, of, like, I'm, I'm not really convinced that these are fighting moves that you're doing here. Like the kick forward. It's not. Like your foot barely moves. It also looks like maybe they never actually had the character do that move while they were taking pictures because it almost looks like the leg is bending up at the knee in order to do the kick. Like, there's something weird about this kick. <laughs> Someone needs to get a screenshot of, like, the height of the just really lazy forward kick because it looks wrong. I swear his leg is broken. <laughs> that's what bats sound like. And yeah, if you didn't know, that's what bats sound like. You ever seen a bat? Yeah. Yeah? Well, they, they definitely go, not, you know, like squeaks, like echolocation or anything. You know, they're one most popular, popular feature, well-known feature. Animals popular. can make more than one sound. You know this, right? Uh, no, I can only make one sound. You can only, what's your sound? Her. Oh, what's all these words that I was hearing then, huh? <laughs> what the crap? I don't understand. Oh, no, I, I've actually learned over the last year or so uh, just uh, talking with Justin and stuff and, uh, like, somehow I never really learned about this when I was uh, going to school specifically for uh, choral education and I had voice classes that they're like there's the normal uh, sort of lower voice that uh, I have as a man and then there's the uh, upper head voice but there's also a whistle uh, range that like you can hit really high notes uh, oh yeah yeah and I have learned how to do that and it's just fascinating to me i can't control it very well at this point but bam i can uh yeah if, if you've ever listened to like the artist mika the way that he's <laughs> able to hit those high notes is uh essentially he uses all three of those uh vocal singing techniques and uh is really good at making the whistle range work like it's I've very never... impressive I've never heard it called the whistle range. I'm trying but... to remember exactly what it's called. Oh. Uh, whistle voice. Whistle register. That's what it's called. Gotcha. Yeah. And Cause I, I've, I've heard, you know, like head, head voice a lot. I've done a lot of uh, voice training myself. Yeah. Head voice is uh, completely normal. The falsetto essentially for men is what it's called but then whistle yeah. register is something that's higher than that uh and it, it's a very different technique and like when you're first learning how to do it it's very uh it tiring you can definitely hurt your voice if you are not doing it right uh which is probably why a lot of people don't really learn how to do it slash they don't actually know the technique to do it uh every pretty much every day though i'm bothering justin because i'm making all of these high-pitched noises as i'm walking around the house he's like shut up why are you doing this i'm like it's fun i learned how to use the whistle register and he's like i know you have i know you have you need to stop <laughs> <laughs> so yeah uh 
With that said, I still can't make it sound very good, but that's sort of why I just like to do it all the time, because the oh. more that you do it, the more you can actually make it sound decent. We've got Dracula again. Not got Gary killer. Oldman. Kick him. Oh, Dracula just okay. grabbed Lady Rex's head. So, you've only got two hits in on Dracula. All right, technically Lady Rex is, is slightly ahead. Okay. Okay. Starting to get some of the pattern. That's a death, but uh, yeah, we're probably going to see another death. But yeah, Lady Rex is just slightly in the lead. I love that we have the health bar though, so we can actually see like who has done more hits. Keanu Reeves needs like a gun. I gotta be honest. <laughs> Like, Dracula, I feel like most enemies, including the supernatural, are weak to guns. Oh, Lady Rex is um, uh, definitely in the lead now. What if you made wooden bullets and shot him in the heart? Would that do it? I'm sure it would for Buffy rules. I don't know. Is that a steak? Uh, would, would, would wooden bullets work? You can just sure make it steak explode. shaped. They're like mini steaks. I'm sure they. Oh no! What if you like? No, you're so close, Lady Rex. No, Lady Rex, you're so close. <laughs> you might be able to get him though. Oh my gosh! Oh my okay, God. kick to the face. Lady Rex is really trying. Oh, Dracula's dead. Lady Rex does yeah! it. Oh my god, that was so close. <laughs> Here's another idea that might actually work. What if you take a piece of wood, grind it up and make it into a bullet Success that, like, is, is a little bit what? more reinforced so it doesn't explode as soon as you shoot it, you know? What, maybe, what, like, like, buckshot? Like, wooden buckshot? Wooden, ooh, wooden buckshot, yeah. I'm sure <laughs> that could kill a vampire. Shotgun with wooden buckshot. Bam! I, I don't know. I'll ask all the vampires I know if that would kill them next time I see them. I've had a vampire class in college, and I would yeah. go ahead and say that most vampire lore is not from the point where shotguns existed. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't Mostly know. Not. We'll yeah. have to figure it out. People are laughing at me. Uh, I was an English uh, literature and writing student, uh, master's degree in writing, and... Uh, let me just say that folklore was a large part of what I did as well. I, yeah, I can, I can tell you all about vampires in my vampire class. Uh, nah. Vampire lore is fun. It's fun. Who's your favorite vampire? Who's my favorite vampire? Let me think about it. I, I know my answer immediately. Like, I'm kind of a fan of, uh, no, because of that one scene in Buffy. Like, it, it would have oh, been Spike, God. but no, I- I mean, you can't, Buffy just has so many not good parts. You have to kind of ignore them sometimes. Yeah, as, oh. like, okay, if you ignore one episode in Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Spike is the best. Okay. However, you have to uh, decanonize one specific episode. Uh, so there we go. Uh, what else? What else? What other vampires? Uh, I think pretty favorite. much all of the vampires in the original New Zealand version of what we do in the shadows. Oh, I don't know that one. Oh my gosh! Come on. One of the guys Sword from Flight now, of the Concords is in it. never does anything, Ibon. He doesn't count. He never does anything. He's useless. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to yell about that. Sword. It's all right. You should definitely watch. Uh, oh, Jermaine Clement is the one who plays uh, oh, Vladislav. Oh, <laughs> it's Jermaine Clement, the vampire. Uh, yeah. <laughs> He's my favorite vampire. Liz, if you haven't seen that movie, you have to. You absolutely have to. Uh, I need okay. to watch the TV series as well. Uh, apparently, it's really good. Uh, completely different cast. But 
Oh my um, gosh, it's just so great. Taika Waititi is one of the main characters. Oh, I really, I really like Jermaine Clement. It's a. Uh, before I transitioned, I looked very similar to him. Oh really? Uh, so I, I have a, yeah, I have, I had like horrible button chops. Oh my <laughs> gosh. And you... I looked kind of like him. I. <laughs> My chops have grown on me, and then I cut them. Uh, <laughs> okay, never mind. No, no, bad joke. I've actually, like, started to appreciate them a little bit more. Mullets, I've started to appreciate a little bit more. Like, maybe I'm just becoming more white trash, personally, but, you know, I like I, I kind of like them a little bit more. I, I've always liked them. But uh, let me tell you, looking back on it, slightly, slightly heinous. Uh... <laughs> Jemaine Clement, by the way, was in one of the strangest movies ever. Uh, and yeah, I say lunch. that because it was made by the same guy who, uh, the, the same producer for Napoleon Dynamite, uh, oh. who made Nacho Libre probably the least strange out of like the uh, fiction trilogy, and then Gentleman Broncos, which is some... Oh my gosh. If you write or love old school uh, science fiction slash fantasy and how bizarre it can be, uh, that movie really, really captures the heart and soul of it. But uh, yeah, Jermaine Clements is in it, and it's really a strange movie. I... Y y I guarantee you've seen GIFs of the movie around. Let me see if I can find a GIF, actually. Uh, okay. I'm really happy to say that the Minecraft live-action movie, though, is being produced by the guy who produced M Napoleon Dynamite, and that means that there's actually a chance that it's going to be the best. Huh. Okay, where's the vomiting gif? Uh, I can look up to see if this is a if this is CD audio because I have it in my CD drive right now. It is not. I think it's sample based. Uh, and as it turns out, the guy who plays who is it? Aquaman is uh going to meet Minecraft Steve and that somehow makes it even better. Okay, wait, I'm sorry. I, tu I tuned out. Minecraft movie? Yes, the producer of Napoleon Dynamite is the producer slash director for the Minecraft live action movie starring the guy who plays uh, Aquaman. I can't remember who it is, oh, but yeah. Jason uh, Momoa, uh, I believe. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. He's cool. He's Here's the gift from Gemman Broncos that I think everybody has seen. Uh, the bright pink vomit. Like don't like that at all. You don't like that? Uh, he ends uh, up flying yeah. around in the air because of the vomit as well. And Oh, where's the deer? The, the deer gif. That's another one uh, that everybody knows. Sam Rockwell was one of the main stars in that. It's so good. And by so good, I mean it's a very bizarre movie that uh, I, if you like weird movies, Chetman Bronco's right up there. Here we go. Okay, another gift that a lot of people know. Where he uses his deer cannon and blasts people with it. Yeah. Oh, oh no! Game over oh. for Lady Rex! That's okay. One continue left means one more solid chance. She got really far in... In that level, though. Success is but. Okay, me. I need to do more. Uh, wait, success is but. Did somebody say success is but your butt? 
for those who are new, by the way, this is a race between the two players to see who can make the most progress in an hour. Right now, Lady Rex is in the lead currently on stage three. Yuge has not made it to stage three, so he needs to pick up that pace. Uh, he has made it to Dracula, but has only been able to, like, hit, get two hits on, on, yeah, on the Dracula. I, I think Yuge uh, has not been able to mitigate damage quite as well as Lady Rex, and that is one of the big... Uh, that could be a determining factor for this match. Like, you only have limited continues. You can get extra lives. Lady Rex is up to five lives at this point. I'm not sure if it's point-based. It probably is, so... Keeping your eye on your score to see if you do get extra lives when you hit a certain threshold is very important early on in this match. Uh, second half of the match is usually focused on making your one good push so that you can actually uh, finish. Oh no, I think this zombie thing might kill uh, Keanu Reeves on Yuge's screen. Oh, come on, kick him, kick him to death, come on! 10,000 points, that's gotta be enough for one up and it was! See, well, see you, Liz. I was telling you, got to pay attention to the score. It's important. Yeah, I would say that, like, the... <sighs> What's the biggest crime of this game, do you think? Um... Slow plotting, terrible hit detection. Yeah. Monotonous enemies. Like, I'm pretty sure Keanu Reeves can move faster than this. I've seen a few movies. You, you, there is a strategy to move faster, and neither of them are employing it. Does it involve jumping? It is jumping. Yep, I figured. <laughs> With that said, like, slow and steady is usually more important in Cusa Grande, you know. Uh, he, has one, he has one attempt, nope. and nope. Uh, yeah, one thing is that this is a blind race. These players have not played the game before. So, really, uh, this takes a completely different skill set than it normally would for speedrunners. A lot of the people who are here are part of the speedrunning community, but it still is a different skill set. What we're looking for uh, is just how to have your own personal uh, best. And a lot of the times, you know, if there's not a timer on screen, it doesn't matter if you walk a little bit slower as long as you can do it consistently mitigate damage don't get hurt too much kick rats uh that's honestly going to be one of the most important things that you can do in order to uh take a victory in this game just kick go rats. a sure. little bit slower yeah, other people are saying everything looks so sluggish. Yeah, normally... Oh, I've already complained about that, but I'll complain about it again. It's too... Sh you just... You're so slow. You walk like you're in Mortal Kombat, but also a lot slower than being in Mortal Kombat. It's like Sub-Zero. If Sub-Zero uh, was actually really, really, really cold at that point, you know? <laughs> it's... I... Like I said, someone, when I played this, described it as, uh, um, Splatterhouse, but terrible. But you can describe it in many, many ways. I mean, there are some splatters, and you're in a house. So I guess it works. I have no idea where Lady Rex is right now. I, I played, I've read the book. I don't remember this from the book. I have not watched the movie. <laughs> Oh, that is okay. Let me see what the manual says. We haven't even talked about the manual. I've been too distracted with everything else. We've been having a good discussion, though. Uh, every time every time I'm on here, bro, I, I pull out a good game, and then we start talking about weird stuff like head headspace uh, voice training. <laughs> In the black of night, he stalks his unfitting victims with the passion of a prince. And the grace of a vile animal. 
able to assume the guise of everything from a shadow on the wall to a jagged toothed wolf beast. He feeds on the living, sinking his pearly fangs into their fair throats for a drink of their life-giving blood, for he is the Prince of Darkness, Count Dracula, and he's cast his hypnotic spell on your lovely mistress, Mina Murray. Now you, Jonathan Harker, must drive a stake through the heart of this vampire and save the fair Mina from a fate worse than death. Eternal light as a vampiress. That's if you've read the book, you know he doesn't. So what's even the point? Yeah, well, eh, you know. So here's the deal. The, the first level is traveling to Castle Dracula. First or second level inside Upper Castle Dracula. And now we are inside Lower Castle Dracula. Deep in the cellar of Castle Dracula lurks an evil underworld of snapping scorpions, ethereal ghouls, and this time his brides wait with sharpened claws and razor-like things. Bam! Dracula goes completely batty. That's, yeah. Oh my god, did you really say that? It, the manual says that, yeah. <laughs> Is the boss fight against a bat... I, maybe. Because, yeah, if I, it's not, I I'm going to be very disappointed. Far. I was wondering, like, we, we already fought Dracula. Well, yeah, but... Heck, even in Buffy the Vampire Slayer, after Buffy slaves Dracula, he still comes yeah, back. Buffy. He's very tenacious. I play Castlevania. I've actually never really watched Buffy. I watched a video the other day, though, which was like a semi-documentary on the Buffy episode, Beer Bad. Beer Bad? Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. <laughs> That's bringing back memories. I forgot that episode existed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I watched like a semi-documentary about that entire episode. Because <laughs> it's really interesting. And there's like a lot of weird history about it because it was funded by uh, the U.S. government. Well, that episode was funded by the U.S. government? What the crap? Was it, was it, it supposed, was supposed to be an anti-drinking? Yes. Oh my there's gosh. A, uh, there's a government agency that pays money to uh, TV people. It was not really talked about and usually uh, was like even the people writing it didn't know, but it was just the higher ups are like, we need you to make an anti drinking episode today, is usually how it would go. That is um, so funny. Oh, yeah, that looks like bat form. Uh, oh my god, look at this. Okay, somebody oh, needs to go back and remake this movie. No, JK, you don't need to remake it, just leave it as is, and then uh, we'll all make fun of it. Is that oh, it? Is Dracula oh, dead? Oh, oh my god. <laughs> I think Lady Rex just teabagged. <laughs> she did. Oh my gosh. Dang, that was a good push. Lady Rex is solidly first now. That was hilarious. I, I wasn't sure if I, I expected anyone to be level two actually really um yeah so beating level four is actually very impressive honestly i can see why you didn't expect anybody to beat stage two because like it's it's rough like <laughs> as in <laughs> there are a lot of things that deal just a little I bit of damage but chip damage actually matters in this game you, you know there aren't a whole lot of health pickups. Did a broom just attack Lady Rex? I don't know what that was. There's all the owls from the Zygnosis logo. They deal a lot of damage. Yeah. And they attach to your face. Oh, no, those are like jumping snakes. I dislike that. Do you not like snakes? I don't like jumping snakes. Fair enough. I'm, I'm not a big fan of snakes, period, but that's mostly because Justin has a phobia and I need to defend Justin, so I will. Yeah, no, that's fair. Yeah, I'm sorry. That. If snakes show up and Justin is there, it is my job to take care of the problem. More snakes for me. 
Uh, I I, yeah, I'll send. You want me to mail you a snake whenever we have one in the yard or something? I can, I can do that. I think that might be illegal. I'm not completely sure because you can ship chickens through the postal service. A uh, source. Really? I worked for the post office uh, for a while, and yeah, the every once in a while we'd have a box with holes in it and a lot of clucking. Uh, huh. Yeah. I'm not sure about snakes, though. I'm I'm not sure you can ship those. I know you can ship bees. You can ship bees. Yeah, that's you can ship bees. You can ship ladybugs. I mean, I assume you can ship snakes. You can order them online. Yeah, no, I know you can ship snakes because I watch a I watch a guy. Um, uh, what's his name? Got guy um, McMahon. <laughs> Uh, his name is Clint's Reptiles. He's actually from Utah, and, uh, he does, like, YouTube videos where he, um, he, like, rates an animal based on how good of a pet it is. Okay. And snakes are, like, his favorite, so he does a lot of things on snakes. <laughs> Keanu Reeves scream. That's amazing. Okay. Yeah, right, look at that. There's no way Lady Rex is getting all the way back to level four. I don't think that you would be able to get there in ten minutes. The year but the it's possible. If he plays out of his gourd, if if he if he games out of his mind, I think he could get there. If you just mosey as fast as possible, you he might be able to. Though. This is a. He's got a such a mosey, though. Okay, health pickup for Yuge. Perfect. Is that right before the Dracula fight? Dracula, where are you? Yeah, the weird scream sound isn't in the film. It's very weird. And it's like weirdly cut off. It's so strange. Yeah. Okay, so apparently the reptile dude you're thinking about has a PhD in biology. That's cool. Yes. No, he's cool. Seems like a cool dude. I, he has been described as uh, the Mr. Rogers of animals. Uh, yeah, I mean, he taught at BYU. Is that bad? Uh, it's BYU. I don't know what that is. Brigham Young University? I don't know what that is. Have you heard of Brigham Young? No. Have you heard of Mormonism? I, yes, I have heard of Mormonism. It's the bro. Mormon University. Yeah. You, you 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 do realize I know the only things I know about Mormonism are because you told you taught them to me. Yeah. What's cool is that he does have a master's in evolutionary ecology, though, and uh, so like being an evolution teacher at BYU. That has to be a little intense. <laughs> like, to... no, seriously, like, I, I imagine they would probably have a lot of rules about what or what what you may or may not teach. I don't believe he teaches there right now, but he did before. Uh, he, so... owns a, uh, he owns, like, a, a shop where you can come in and, like, he teaches uh, kids about reptiles and stuff. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Ah, ah, Lady Rex, stop it. There we go. <laughs> I like I the high-pitched scream. <laughs> ah. <laughs> and then how he dies after he respawns on the screen. He just, I know. They're like, we have to show him fall over. Like, maybe that's something that was in the contract. Every time you die, you have to show Keanu Reeves falling over. Because if you don't, how do you know he died? Yeah, I did not know about magic underwear, and I did not know about golden tablets. Uh, okay. Yeah, Liz, you, yeah, let's just say you knew almost nothing. Also, uh, just FYI, it's, like, don't ask everyday Mormons about, uh, magic underwear or 
honestly, just don't ask any of anybody about their underwear unless you know they're yeah, very okay not, with it. Not cool. Yeah, <laughs> not cool. Don't ask people about their underwear. And I'm going to go ahead and say if you're a Mormon bishop and you're asking people about your underwear, I know you were told you were supposed to, but it still is freaking weird. And you... Stop it. Just stop it. Nobody needs to tell... Nobody ha should have to report to anybody about what kind of underwear they're wearing, okay? That's my feeling. Uh, unless... Wait, no, no, no unless. I don't want to yeah, talk just about don't. it. Just don't. Don't talk about it. Don't. <laughs> yeah, we are synced up between the two players. It's almost... Why uh, are Mormons asking people? about underwear my they usually my... just ask uh themselves about underwear oh there's also a weird there were like old old like old women who would like try to feel up like yeah. to make sure you're wearing the under i remember you telling me that yeah there's something uh that happens quite a bit in utah if they're like old ladies don't want to pry but at the same time they do want to pry uh, and be like, oh, are they Mormon? Well, I don't want to ask. So let's just go ahead and grab their arm and like a nice old lady and do the creepy run my finger up and down your arm to see if I can feel the shirt underneath that is part of it. Or put my hand on your leg so that I can feel the hem of your underwear and see if it actually is it. Uh, yeah, that, that actually is a legit thing that happens here and it really creeps me out. I don't like it. Uh, but that's also like a subtle thing, you know, I'm religious. Am I going to be able to trust this person? Because yeah, I've been taught yeah. not to trust anybody who that's isn't perfect. part of this religion. Let me go ahead and feel your leg and see if you've got the underwear. Yeah, because if every so... Time, every time I come, I come on here with some game and then I learn more about Mormonism. <laughs> How far? Yeah, that's more of a culture cultural thing though like uh that ladies are gonna do that uh and it's i don't i i think it's really weird and kind of gross everybody if you become an old lady don't try to feel if i'm wearing underwear at all only Just, i would no. if, as an old lady i would only feel people's underwear if they gave me yeah but i'm also okay i'm just imagining future old lady me if you're like within <laughs> 10 years of my age, then maybe with your consent. Otherwise, no, I, no, I'm not gonna be creepy, okay? I'm an old lady. I mean, I don't know. But if you're like 60 years old, then sure, I'll go ahead and ask, can I, I feel, mean, I mean, can I feel your you're underwear? Saying, if you're like 30, that's whatever. If they're like 20, yeah, no. No, if I'm 60 years old, I don't, like, unless they're hitting on me first, okay? Yeah, no, oh, it, yeah, yeah. No, I no, am no. not going to flirt with the 30 year old unless they what initiate. Are we talking about right now? I'm talking about, like, I'm not going to, I, I'm not going to do I feel anything like this weird. Is a trap. <laughs> I'm not going to do anything weird unless you flirt with me first, okay? That's the rules. the end yeah uh there's no way for for either of them to get back up to to level four now absolutely no way i did now liz i actually did know like one of the sweetest couples when i when i was yeah. a mormon missionary uh there there was this mormon couple it was like this 60 year old lady and this uh 60 year old white lady and this 60 or like 30 year old uh oh. 30 year old black man who were married and they were like the sweetest couple and I'm oh. like this is absolutely blowing my mind but they <laughs> are the cutest and like I'm I'm really happy that it worked out for them but like it's uh you know they're consenting adults who uh, uh you know Whatever. Like a little bit outside of my comfortable age range, but like I'd say if you're 30 years old and there and uh, you fall in love with somebody who's in their 60s, then that's fine. It's weird to me, but it's fine. Go ahead. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, 
and accepting adults. Yeah, it, it was something to me that was like, this is kind of amazing that like it works out so well for them. Uh, good for them. I like the ghosts. I like the enemies that are like drawn sprites. Yeah. Instead of like what everything else looks kind of uh, realistic, at least is trying to go for that, like the bats and the, and the owls, and the rats. But like the ghosts look like they're from a completely different game. <laughs> it's pretty good. Yeah. Well, it just they do not fit the style, the art style of this game. People are asking what? if either player can make any progress. I think Yuge oh. might be able to make progress past where he got to, but Lady Rex is pretty much done. Uh, yeah, I, I do Rex not think Yuge up. can pass Lady Rex barring a miracle, which... Uh, <laughs> no, even with a miracle. In two minutes, there's no way he'd be able to get all the way through level a, three. A really powerful before. miracle. Like, suddenly you oh, accidentally oh. wrong warp to the end of the game. If you wrong warps, then I will apologize for everything. <laughs> Apologize if we, if, if we suddenly have a wrong warp, then we're going to have discussions in the GM channel. That's my rules. <laughs> All right. He has a chance to get to level three. Oh, my gosh. Yuge is behind Dracula, kicking Dracula. Oh, oh punching Dracula in the back of the head. That looks like that might be the way to go. Sort of. Oh, oh no. What was that boost? That was cool. <laughs> Honestly, if you could get behind Dracula and stay there without getting hit, that might be a very reliable way to do this boss fight. I think Yuge might be able to beat this Dracula and move into still second place, but more progress than before, you know? If he if he's able to figure out... Because uh, Lady Rex figured out how to dodge uh, all of Dracula's attacks. I don't think he's figured it out yet. Specifically, that grab. Yeah, the grab has really plagued Yugi. What's that? Yeah, Dra and uh, he has an extra life, so I, I think Dracula's going to go down. It's just a bit of a slog for a fight, but honestly, finishing is more important than doing it fast. And uh, like, honestly, at the very end of the match, you want to be making more progress than you had made before. I'd say Yugi is oh, playing yes. this exactly right. It's just Lady Rex had an amazing playthrough and really figured out the Dracula fight quickly. Yeah, Dracula's dead. JK, Dracula's never dead. That's not how Dracula... Y'all ever hear about they, a Dracula both... game called Dracula's... They just don't die. They both got further than I thought they would get. So I'm very proud of both of them. Well, everybody, that is time. Go ahead and throw your hands up in the air, cheer, let out some emotes, and celebrate because both of the players did a fantastic job. Both players beat level two. However, we had... Lady Rex, who just managed to take the victory here, making it all the way to level four. Let me go ahead and welcome them in. Uh, nope. You both crashed. Okay. So yeah. oh, it yeah. evens. So it evens out. Hello there, lady. And let me go ahead and welcome you gay in. Uh, oh, that was awful. Yeah, uh... Just a second. Okay, uh... Let me, let me go ahead, uh, and welcome Yugi in. Uh, come join voice if you want. Because I, I definitely like to talk about this lady. You say that this is bad. Yeah, I just... Oh, the... 
Uh, like, like the control, like the controls aren't too bad, but the but they just throw so much stuff at you. So many bats. And birds There's so and bats much. And scorpions and snakes. And snakes, and then. And, then and that's when I'm getting into the actual full-sized enemies, like the spear throwers or those, or those guys in the first stage. I don't even know what they were. I don't know. You you had the like zombies that vomited everywhere. I hated those dudes. Uh, like oh, and, they just like their vomit deals so much damage. Why does vomit hurt? It just should gross you out. Just the just the projectile spit did less damage than them just puking all over the floor. I know, right? Oh, yeah, Yugi. Uh, hello there. Yeah, welcome on in. Uh, Thank you. Yeah, I know that both of you had a, a crash during the game. Usually within the first, like, 30 minutes or so, uh, as long as it evens out, uh, you know, that's still the part where you're learning how to play the game and learning how to avoid taking damage uh, and really, like, getting a sense of conserving your health. And then the second half is where you can manage to make the big push. Uh, Lady Rex was very fortunate and managed to get to stage four. Uh, and that was... Yeah, I, that was I was really on cool. the last health. I was on the last pixel of health of my last life, of my last continue when I got to the boss of the stage, and of stage three, and then it just it just went down like nothing. I just... It just... I stun-locked it. Yeah, that boss was kind of comedic, how you were just able to Especially absolutely to destroy it. The yeah. The earth throwers were, were tougher enemies than that boss. It, it's true. Uh, but it's just Dracula is a big, ugly bat. That's the boss. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, you say you hated this game. Yuge, did you... Or at least that it it's BS. Did you feel the same, Yuge? What, what are your thoughts about this game? I mean, the game is bad. Of course, the game is bad. But um, I, I don't know. I think it was kind of charming how it was implemented. Oh, really? I, I had the yeah, same I, reaction. I can at least give it that. Like, the music and the visuals for a Sega CD game were really good, honestly. It was mostly just the enemies that got on my nerves. I My exact words were, there are no redeeming qualities to this other than how charmingly bad it is. Exactly, I, I totally agree. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> Plus, something about that noise where you that the character makes me. I, I know. Okay. <laughs> I, I love I love that death um, scene just because it mimicked how I felt every single time I died. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> Yeah, you both did better than I expected. I didn't expect anyone to beat level two. Uh, so you both did better than I expected. So good job to both of you. Yeah, honestly, uh, the the thing about this game, because it has limited lives and limited continues, it's like a, a total battle of attrition. Can I actually uh, make a little bit of progress that will be saved by the time I run out of lives in this specific continue. And if not, back yeah. to the beginning. Uh, and if you can, then bam, uh, that is how you make progress. And honestly, like, even when you have learned how enemies work, it's hard to avoid damage because just because yeah. of how much is happening there. Yeah, I actually think that uh, that is why um, the crash was actually very devastating for me, uh, because stage two has a continue pickup that you get every single time. So I would never go back to through stage one again. Wait, there's a continue pickup in stage two? Yeah, in, in yeah, stage like, two. I think, yeah, I think it was that in that side hallway that I yes, and because there was I will admit stage two was weird because there was one point in in which instead of going down that side path. It let me just continue forward, and I it, found that books, path right? to just be the, that the forward path would just be the wrong choice in the end because it was a lot longer. It didn't have the continue, and you I would have had to do a a large cutscene that had skip point late into it. Well, that's really fun. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> honestly, Thank you. I, honestly, I love when developers put an item in the game that allows you to do an area over and over again. I honestly completely missed that while I was watching. I didn't realize that there was that pickup that could just let you keep doing that over and over again. But that makes sense why you didn't play level one very much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I actually 
don't think I ever saw a game over because the only time I started from the beginning was the Triton was the crash. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, I, I can say a game over isn't really that different from just a re a regular continue. It just it just after the after the uh it just goes right back to the title screen. Well, yeah, at least that's much. better than having to watch this plot and a splash screen again. <laughs> oh yeah, have to go through that unspeakable splash screen after the crash. Yeah, that splash screen. It's just so long. Uh, long. There's really no reason to have that either because it's not like as far as I'm aware, it's not loading what's coming up. It's just like let's go ahead and play the animation for the splash screen there. And, and it's even worse because once you get to the uh, psychosis uh, splash, you have to press start to continue, like get it going to the title screen, so you can get stuck on the splash screen. <laughs> I. I'll be honest, I was smashing start out of habit, so I didn't even know that. <laughs> yeah, I noticed that when I crashed, because I was like, oh, then I can pour myself a drink while this splash screen is uh, happening, and then I noticed, hey, it's actually not progressing. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Uh, honestly, the, yeah, the, the crash probably was a, a little devastating one of the unfortunate things as well is that when there's a bad game uh and something like that happens it can sort of trip you up mentally and be like well now i'm gonna have to fight against this and uh it's uh, that's one of the things about Grande. we do well no the devs should be maybe not even no, the well, devs I, the the people yeah, like who forced this game out of the door as quick as it was shoved out the door they should be sorry uh like i said 1.0 crashes all the time so i got 2.0 which i was told does not crash so i'm sorry hey, yeah, it's I all did. right it happens i mean um like i said in the chat um even if I've got an extra time, I doubt I would be able to beat stage three in that time. Stage, so the, it doesn't the, really matter. Your throwers in stage three are a nightmare. Greed. Yeah, uh, I, I think that Lady Rex, we were going to give an extra three minutes, uh, and uh, then the crash happened to you. We max out the amount of time that we give. Uh, to a total of five minutes and considering that you're still gaining knowledge for how to play the game as uh as you're going before the crash happens that's sort of how we uh, determine whether or not uh additional time is worth uh but with that said of course we'll talk about uh everything as gms and if for some reason there is a a different uh ruling that we want to issue we'll let you know but otherwise like i i feel both of you uh, did as well as you could lady rex really feared out dra like the first dracula boss pretty quickly oh, yeah. though yuge uh there, there were so many times that you just almost you you started dealing damage to him, but then Dracula is just like, "I'm gonna grab your face." My name yeah, is Dracula. I, I don't, that, that was the worst that, attack. <laughs> that grab is like I almost died on my last life of one of my yep. continues at due to that grab. It just I just could not get out of it. It deals so much damage too. Yeah, uh, like lady, what what was your strategy for dealing with the grab there? Um. Honestly, just duck. I realized if I ducked, I would be my hitbox would be below the grab, and then I could just get up and immediately kick, kick him in the face. Yeah, the the that's duck. actually not the same. Yeah, that's actually not the same strategy I used. I, I noticed that my leading kick uh, could uh, like go through any of the, the, the Dracula's attacks. So even if the ship would have this shield, you could still go through it. Honestly, there are a lot of enemies where the strategy is just duck and then wait for the right moment to attack. I just wish you could do like a... You can do a ducking punch, but I wish you could do a ducking kick, because the punch isn't low enough to be able to hit some of the enemies <laughs> when ducking. Yeah, it's, uh, it's uh, odd that the low kick here requires you to stand still. <laughs> Don't you love yeah, it when ducking... Yeah, while to figure it out. When ducking makes you attack higher, that is Cusa Grande for you. Oh my gosh. Well, seriously, great job to both of you. Uh, and honestly, uh, just making it this far in the tournament is really great. Yuge, we do need some words for your tombstone, though. So, do you have any last words? Um... 
I, I don't know, just enjoy Kuso. I, Something like I that. I enjoy Kuso. <laughs> you know what? That, that would fit well. It's, it's nice, short, and sweet. You can even put it in big lettering. <laughs> that is coloration. Uh, discoloration might be appropriate. Discoloration. Oh no, yeah, just a little weathering <laughs> as well, you know. Make it look a little old and ragged. <laughs> oh, seriously, it's been great to have you. Hit me up because we have prizes for everybody who gets eliminated in the bracket. Uh Steam games. I can I believe you're out of the US, so I can probably send you a gift card uh over Steam and I can get and we also have a movie that we give out, but Neil Breen is being really slow at actually releasing it, so if we get to the point where the tournament's over and at the movie hasn't been re released, then maybe I'll just have to send a different movie. But yeah, hit me up later. I'll get you a gift card. Uh, yeah. Uh, other than that, thank you so much, lady. Thank you, Yuge. Both of you did fantastic. And Liz, thank you for this game choice. I very much appreciate it. it it's been a fun time. And, and one last shout out to the fact the manual had the game we were originally going to be playing before it got uh, vetoed at the very end. <laughs> it all came full circle. Don't say the name, don't say the name, because it might yeah, come I'm back. Not, I'm not saying the name, I'm not saying the name, don't worry. <laughs> My lips are sealed. Yeah, that was pretty funny that it had an ad for the other game. All right, take care, friends. We've got more Kuso now, so I'll see you all later. Bye. Later. Bye. Bye. Everybody, this is Kuso Grande, the Bad Video Game Tournament. We have one more match today. And then as long as I'm not dying from heat, holy crap, it is hot in this room. As long as I'm not dead, I will try to have a stream of something else later. But let's go ahead and go over to the game reveal. Wait, 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 wait. First thing, thank you. If you follow, if you subscribe, everything that you do helps keep this channel alive. We give over $2,000 worth of prizes for the tournament, and honestly, all of your support helps out, so uh, I, I appreciate it.